It's November 1st, uh, fourth day without a light in Flanders, New Jersey. Uh, the good thing is I have a, um, a generator, just a uh, 3,500 watts uh, generator, a small one, just enough to power six circuit. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how I get this connected to our home, to our power transfer. And the most important part of this thing uh, is this um, L14-30 uh, connector, because this is the one that I plug into. It's a four-prong twist uh, um, outlet that I'll put on the cord, and uh, downstairs I have a matching female uh, outlet where I connect it to the power transfer, and then from the power transfer to my uh, breaker box. So I'll get started today. I'll check the oil, uh, fill up the uh, oil again, and of course fill up the uh, gas tank that holds about four gallon. Should last me about six to uh, seven hours. So I'll follow up with a video, next video, when I'm ready to do that. But I'm just gonna go do the boring stuff, uh, fill the oil if needed, fill the gas, and then from there I'll get it set up outside um, and go from there. Oh, by the way, here's the cord that I usually connect it to. There's a go right there. I got about um, a 50 footer of that uh, connected from our basement because I'm going to run this on my uh, backyard uh, porch. Um, anyway, that's how it's going to work out. I'll talk to you later. Okay, I checked all the oil, filled up the fuel tank, so I'm ready to power up this bad boy. Uh, this little generator has been saving our behinds if you will for the past four days so today's the fourth day so go ahead this is a four prong uh, L14-30 plug plug that in and just go ahead and twist it slightly and that will get you connected so the next thing we need to do power that on and I think I'm ready to go I don't have to make sure this is a switch right here is the load usually leave that off for now uh, for five minutes and then uh, you go ahead and kick it and then turn on the uh, power transfer in your basement so let's see if this thing starts without uh, me putting the choke on the choke is right there uh, it's already on the run uh, things been running all night last night uh, I shut it down around 12 uh, around midnight last night so it's a pull start, so I'll get going with that and let's see if it starts. I guess I need to put the choke on after all. There you go, just slight. doing great. I'll go to the uh, basement and show you the, uh, the power transfer. Okay, here's my power transfer. It's right next to my uh, breaker box. Um, again, um, I powered off yesterday, so all I got to do is make sure before I turn the uh, load on the generator that to power off all these things right here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch off. That's the switches I'm turning off. And of course, put everything. See that thing? It says Jan, and then light or line. Go ahead and power that off. And there you go. It's ready. Uh, it's ready to take a load on. And of course, here's that other end of the L1430. And here's my uh, wattage. So um, I think it's been five minutes, so the generator's fully warmed up. So what I'm going to do is uh, switch that on and then come back down here and load up the uh, house. And by the way, this is what I loaded. I have, if you could read it, a uh, refrigerator is on C, uh, which is a 20 amp right there. 20 amp letter C is the refrigerator. And the furnace is just the letter E. That's just a designation, but um, I obviously have a lot of circuit but I'm only powering on critical uh, stuff and where the family is going to hang out. 
but there goes the power transfer and the other end of the L1430 uh, extension cord. So I'm going to go ahead and go out there again and uh, load the uh, generator. Okay, the generator is now fully warmed up. Uh, all you have to do now is, of course, Okay, I just placed a load on my uh, generator, so I'm ready to power on this uh, transfer, uh, power transfer. So the first thing I usually do is just pop up all the generator switch, make sure it's no longer on line. And there you go. Once you've done that, uh, load the biggest load or power on the, uh, the, the uh, circuit with the biggest load. In this case, I'm going to do the letter C that I know for a fact that's my refrigerator. So pay attention to this. Watch it kick up. There you go. And then just power on the rest. And usually just wait a few seconds uh, to give the uh, generator a chance to adjust the load. Okay. Okay. Okay, the house is fully lit up. Uh, not necessarily, maybe about two thirds of the houses uh, are lit up. But the uh, the main reason why I got this on is of course to power on critical things like the uh, refrigerator, furnace, heating, uh, the family room, and all of our bedrooms. So the fireplace room and the spare bedroom, uh, they are not lit up. So uh, all I got to do, uh, the last thing I need to do is, of course, secure the generator, uh, chain it up, uh, protect it from the elements like uh, snow or rain and so on. So I'm um, pretty happy with the setup. And again, thank you for watching.